So Sunday morning, I'm gonna make some bread. <clears throat> Today I'm gonna to make bread using the Fate all-purpose bread mix, which is great. I'm also gonna use a bread machine because it makes it way easier. So we're gonna need some things. We need some scissors. oil. I'll need some salt. Measuring jug. The first thing you wanna do is take a bread pan, fill it up with hot water. So now my bread pan's full of hot water. This is just to warm up the bread machine before you get it going, otherwise your fate loaf will not rise properly. Doesn't matter how much water I've got in there at the moment, while I'm getting everything else sorted, put my hot water in to warm it up. Once that's nice and warm, I'm gonna tip some of this water out into my measuring jug and measure out 450 ml of hot water. 450 ml of hot water. It wants to be a little bit hotter, baby's bottle is much more useful. I want 50 mil of oil, because I'm gonna make the low fat version of this I'm gonna make a full fat version with 120 mil, but I find it to be too greasy. It's about 50 mil of oil. Goes straight into my bread pan. I'm using sunflower oil, you but you can use whatever oil. At this point, you want two teaspoons of salt, don't try cutting out on the salt. The salt's really important because it helps the yeast, or sorry, stops the yeast from not over-rising and making your bread come out the top of the bread machine. You want two teaspoons. Whoa, that's too much. If that happens. The fate comes in a packet like this pretty straightforward you just chuck everything in. the instructions for this recipe are exactly the same as the instruct as the quantities that are on the bread packet you want to add the yeast I should make the point it's actually really important that you put everything in in the same order that it appears on the ingredients list we're good to put this in our bread machine. This is my bread machine, does the job. There we go. <clears throat> I like to use a rapid bake setting because I find it works really well with the fake mix. A couple of things before I turn it on. Firstly, you may see the paddle doesn't quite get into all the corners. So part way through the mixing stage, I use a spatula just to help it. Round. Some people choose to add a little bit of gravy browning, which gives it a bit more of like a normal bread color. That's fine. If you're gonna do that, put it in when you put the water in. Mix it up so the water goes brown, then add your dry ingredients. Bread's gonna take an hour. Let's do something useful. Let's go see if that bread's done. Last job of the day, let's check on the bread. Just to make it a little bit nicer, stick it in a normal oven, just to brown it off a little bit more. So the bread had about eight minutes in the end. Let's see if it actually came out any better. Super crispy, listen to this. And that extra crunch has come from the extra seven or eight minutes in the oven.